Today we're going to continue in the series entitled The Spirit of Unity, and this will be our fourth installment, Maintaining Unity. Let's go to our scripture. We want to go back to Psalms 133 and 1. Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It's important to understand that unity doesn't just happen because we gather together. There has to be a major consensus of those who are gathering. One of the prospects in maintaining unity can be found in the word dwell in Psalms 133 and 1. The term dwell, which I uh, spoke on several days in a row, I'm going to dive in and unpack some things that could possibly help us to understand how it, how it is we maintain unity. Yashab, to dwell, remain, sit, and to abide. Each of these descriptors talk about a conscious effort of a volitional desire. And so we have to, first of all, bring our mind to understand the purpose of our coming together, to understand the purpose of unity. Why are we unified? What is the ultimate goal? And when we come to understand the ultimate goal, then we process it, and deep within our minds, deep within our hearts, we volitionalize it. We either say it's worth it or it isn't. And so we come to a volitional aspect where we are now choosing to dwell, choosing to remain, choosing to abide in connection with individuals who have set goals. And so we bring our minds, we bring the ultimate aspect of the mind that chooses the will. We come because we have made an assessment, and in making our assessment, we've reached the understanding that working in the kingdom is worth it. We've reached the assessment that the body, because it is unified, and the body, once being unified, can cause the spirit, the breath, the life, and the covenant relationship which God desires for a body to flow through that entirety of the body. If the body is disjointed and disunified, then what happens, the life does not consistently flow. And we know the life of God brings to us so many advantages and blessings. And so we decide to keep the ranks of unity for the sake of the power, the life, and the breath of God flowing through us consistently. Another aspect of unity and maintaining it can be found in Ephesians 4 and 3. The scripture says, endeavoring to keep the unity. So what does that mean? When we go to the Koine Greek, endeavoring, spudazzo, it means applying diligence. It means to use speed, that is to make effort, to be prompt or earnest. And so when we indicate or when we begin to divergently unpack this, it means that whenever you see that there's something that's going to disengage the body as a whole, to disrupt the body's activities, and always remember that a soma or a body is simply the tool or it is the accoutrements that the mind or the soul uses to gain information, to process its surroundings, or to operate in the external world. So whenever you see that the body of Christ, as it relates to you, your relationships, and your endeavors in ministry, or the pursuits of a church, or the pursuits of a clan, a group, to um, process and to achieve a vision or a mandate, then what must happen, you must speedily and with all haste and with all effort being prompt to do your diligence. You want to work hard 
to remediate so the body can continue to operate in the unity of vision. And so he says, endeavoring, moving quickly, moving with haste, and coming to the point where we want to get rid of everything that has to do with the disruption of our unity, that has everything to do with the disruption of our working together in peace to fulfill the will and the mind of God. And this is very important because the longer we allow disunity to remain, the more efficient it becomes in eroding our desires to work together for Christ. As I said before, it takes a mind that is mature to understand that everything is not going to be succinctly the way we desire it, but because of the purpose of achieving kingdom objective, kingdom principles, we will quickly resolve our issues and discover what it is we can do to maintain the pursuit of the vision of Christ. And as I said before, a body, a soma, systemically has, un um, I mean, uniformity all through it. Not every system operates to achieve the exact same order. The skeletal system, it provides foundation for the support of the entire body. Within the bones, there are also those mechanisms in the marrow that creates the blood cells. And it creates, it recycles, and it continues to produce the blood that carries the oxygen. The respiratory system deals with respiration, the breathing, the circulatory system. It focuses on moving the blood throughout the body so the oxygen that comes in through the circulatory system can continue to build and strengthen the physical body. You have all manners of systems in the body that do different things, but the objective goal is, and even the objective goal can be different, but each goal achieved helps the body to function as a unit to bring forth its purpose, to bring forth its stability, or even to bring forth another like itself in the context of the uh, sexual systems or the reproductive systems. There are parts of the body that maintain the health of the body. There are parts of the body that enable the mind to actually move other parts of the body as per the brain. And so when we talk about unity, unity again is operating in your space for the purpose of maximum achievement of the objective that should be in alignment with the vision. And so endeavoring, endeavoring, quickly moving to fix the operations so the body can continue to be healthy, so the body can continually maintain its design of functionality, so the body could continually operate within all of its systems or to allow the systems to operate for the sustaining, the protection, the achievement of the body. So we endeavor to keep. Now, what does he mean by endeavoring to keep? The word to keep is tereo. Tereo simply means to reserve it, to continue keeping it, to consistently do it, to watch, to guard, to keep it from um, injury, to keep it from prevailing into decline, and it implies that someone is watching, keeping the eye upon, thus uh, it deals with preventing something from escaping, life from escaping. It can be positive or it can be um, negative. It also can deal with as a fortress, and so we guard the body, we guard our unity, we guard the systems within us. And so we quickly dispatch ourselves to guard. We quickly dispatch ourselves to keep healthy. We quickly 
dispatch ourselves to keep the body of Christ from being injured in any way. And so endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit. Here he uses the word unity in the Greek hinotes, hinotes, the oneness, that is the unity, agreement. And so it goes back to again, we endeavor to keep unity. We move quickly to maintain the vigilance of the willful desire to operate as one, the willful desire to operate in agreement. And that agreement is for the purpose of achieving the mission, the mandate, and the vision. I'm sorry we are out of time. I am your host, Dr. Terry K. Reeves, and this has been our daily Bible study. Until next time.